welcome back to my channel we did a valentine's day look today didn't we elsie she always sits right with me and watches me so she's been very involved today this is my valentine's look or one of them but it's more of a fun flirty kind of i don't know you could say extra slightly glam what else could we say spicy it's a little unique and different, I think. It's very, like, elegant, too, but it's just big. Everything's big. But anyways, if you would like to see how I did this look, Miss Elsie might pop in and out a little bit. You never know. But if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Starting with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown, combing my brows out. And I do my brows the same as I did in the last couple videos. I like to start on the bottom and I make one nice smooth line going up and all the way to the tail. And then I bounce over to the other side and I try to go back and forth for each step just to keep them even as I go. Um, and then I start doing my tails, my other tail. And I do explain more of what I'm doing in some of my previous videos and I will actually make a separate eyebrow video soon and then i just connect the top make this nice straight line and connect it to the top of that tail where the arch will be i always fill them in darker on the through the tail and through the middle and then as i get towards the front i always use lighter pressure and try to create brush strokes and even while i'm filling them in i'm kind of going in the direction that i want the hair to look like it's going in my eyebrow if that makes sense so these little fast sweeping motions and ultimately it helps create a very textured hair-like appearance and then i just go a lot softer in the very front with a slight angle to my brows because i don't like them to be too boxy and squared on me personally now i just brush them through again to help give more of a faded effect so we don't have any harsh lines now i'm taking mac pro longwear concealer in nw20 and this jacqueline hill brush this is the JH43, and I use the concealer to clean around the edges. So even though I didn't really go out of the lines, by doing this, I'm covering up any hair that is still kind of underneath where I want my brows to be. This kind of camouflages it and creates a nice smooth line there. And ultimately will help me not have to get super close to my eyebrows with my beauty blender when it comes time to do my foundation. I do have redness around my eyebrows, so concealing them and cleaning them up really helps me to conceal around them just so we don't have any red spots that are hard to reach with a big sponge. I just like to take care of this whole area all at once and then I clean up through the middle, make a little sweeping motion up, check them out. And then I use the same concealer. This is a BH Cosmetics brush that I found at TJ Maxx with a little flat top. And I'm priming my eyes with my concealer. I love the brightening effect this concealer has. It's very neutral, not too white. It just makes me look alive. Now I'm using Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage with a Moda brush and setting my eyes. Now I'm taking a Morphe 461 and using my Airspun to put through the front of the brows just to fade them some more and set them. Using the Morphe What a Gem palette, the 39S, and the pink shade in the top row on, that's the third one. I didn't look at the names and I've kind of gotten rid of the, the thing with all the names on it, so I'm really sorry. I'll just point to the colors that I'm using. So this is a bright pink color and I'm just building it up on the very outer V at first and kind of creating the shape I want. And then I'm using this lighter pink on this Jaclyn Hill brush. She calls this the Beast Blender. I'm not sure of the number because I cannot find it. And then I'm just going over to this side to even them out. Using this very bright pink, this is from the James Charles palette with this Jaclyn Hill brush. This is JH33 and I'm just going around the edges to really put that hot pink um, on the outside so it's kind of blown out and so it looks super bright. Now I'm using this little mermaid brush from Amazon with the Les Du Makeup Palette in the shade Angel, which is the red shade, and I'm just making it really red on the inner V, so not around the outsides where the hot pink is, just to deepen up the inner V and that crease. Let's cut the crease. And of course we lost the footage. 
this is just a regular flat eyeshadow brush. This is probably by Morphe, but I'm not sure of the number. And I'm just setting where I cut my crease and <laughs> the part of the video that unfortunately got removed somehow. But I did do a cut crease in one of my other looks from one of my other videos that you can see how I do it. And then I'm just going to add a little more angel right back in that outer V to blend in with the white. It'll be a very subtle little effect, but makes them really pop. Then I'm checking them out using porcelain from the Lorac Mega 2 and my favorite two Jaclyn Hill brushes to highlight under my eyebrows. I like to use JH39 to pack and JH40 to blend it all in. And then I swoop the same white shade up through um, the inner corners as well to really open up and brighten up those eyes and add an inner corner highlight. I always go back over this after foundation too, just to really make it pop. This is the NYX Love, Lust, and Disco Epic Ink Liner. It is waterproof and it is my favorite. It's drying out a little bit and I'm not sure if it was limited edition or not, but it was my favorite this past winter. I like to start on the outside and then I draw a line straight in and then I kind of angle it straight down towards my lash line. And then when I want to make it thicker, I look up and see where it's falling and I go to the very tail, not the very tip, but kind of on the outside here and I start another line, connect it, draw it straight in and then down. But it kind of just follows my eye shape and my eye kind of pushes the pencil or the pen down. So I like to connect it there and then I can just go to the front when I'm all the way done and I've made it as tall as I want. And then I go in the front and connect it to where we left off and just smooth that line out until it really looks nice. Sometimes I do it more rounded. This time I made sure it stayed really narrow in the front. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Waterproof Coal Liner. I'm just gonna use this on my tight line so that you can't see any skin between my lashes and that liner. Yes, bitch, okay. Now I'm taking the Kiss Lash Glue and this NYX Pigment in number six. It's a silver holographic with lots of different colored glitters in it that really reflect the light and they reflect the color that's on your eye so beautifully. It's my very favorite pigment. So I just take this glue very carefully and I do one section at a time and I'm using a very small Jeffree Star brush, the JS14, to pick up the glitter and place it precisely where I put the glue. And I just repeat this until I get about as far as the cut crease goes with that white. I absolutely love that blend. I interrupt your program just to let you know I'm going to try out some new lashes. And I just got these in the mail from Amazon. One of them is my favorite, one of my favorite new brands that I found recently by McKiwi, and the other one is a different brand. Um, they're called Alacrown Lashes. So I was just going to show you these right now because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to actually go with, and I have another drugstore option in case these ones are way too big because I think they might be. <laughs> actually, pretty sure, but they might look cute, but they are big, so they might not be for this look. I'll show you them now. If we don't use them today, I'll use them in a, some other kind of really dramatic look. But these are the Alacrown lashes. These are like monster size. So I'm going to show you how they look. I'm going to try one of them on. And then these ones are Mikiwi. And they're actually somewhat similar um, style. They're both they're both very big and, you know, big. <laughs> and uh, glam. Or what would you want to say? A little bit extra. So I think I'm going to try the Alacrown. Because I have tried this brand. They're really good. But they're... Pretty similar. These both look big. So if these are too big and we don't like them, then I'm probably going to use the Ardell 3D Foam Ink 853. This one is just a little eyelash curler that I got from Tarte at one of the Sephora's near me. I just saw it sitting there. I wasn't looking for an eyelash curler, but um, the way they have their store set up, you just end up finding a lot of shit that you weren't looking for. And it's sparkly and like talking to me, telling me, buy me, please buy me, take me home with you. And so I did. I'm going to take these two, this one and that one, and we're just going to see how they look. You see these little things sticking out? You got to trim them off and cut them or it will stab your eye and hurt. Well, damn, that is a look, isn't it, girls? Um, I mean, shit. 
Clean your cute lashes. All right, so now that we're done with this much, I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll finish my under eye, the inner corner highlight, lips and all that. So for what my or what my favorite primer has been like all year is the NYX Angel Veil vale, and I showed this in my 2019 favorites. This primer is like a lotion. It literally it feels like a almost like a moisturizer but not in a greasy way. Like it feels like very this feels mattifying. It doesn't say that it's mattifying, but when I put it on my natural skin, I feel like it does something like it helps the shine takes away my shine like this is an awesome primer to use if you don't use much face makeup because it does really help so much with your skin anyway um so anything that you put over top of this primer is going to look a lot smoother and nicer um just because it really does smooth your skin out so much i'm obsessed with it some primers either make me oily or they dry me out more or they emphasize my dry spots this primer really i do get dry spots or i have spots like for my pimples and they heal and then they're kind of like dry for a while and this primer doesn't grab the dry skin it really just goes over it very smoothly and smooths it all out so um i don't know that's kind of hard to find dry skin is tricky you gotta find stuff that doesn't make it drier and you gotta find stuff that actually like moisturizes and doesn't just sit on top of the skin you know you want thing, something that's going to actually hydrate your skin and i mean the best way to do that is to drink a lot of water <laughs> honestly that's like the number one thing you can do for your skin other than what you actually put on it. But yeah, tip of the day, drink a lot of water ladies. But this just, it blends in so nicely and it feels so nice on my skin. It doesn't feel like kind of gross, like slippery. Like some primers feel kind of gross to me. I guess like not all of them, but some kind of do or they smell like weird and chemically. And I just don't like that. And this doesn't, I don't know, it's not good. <laughs> it's good stuff. I love this shit. Okay, using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Soft Beige, that is my color. That's really good if you're, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just use this for myself, so I put it right on. It's nice. It just makes it convenient to put it on. You know, so it's not, I don't have to get my hands wet. This is a little stupid. So, we're going for full coverage today. And usually, for a full coverage look, with this foundation, I usually do my one over. I do one nice, even layer like this I'll do this and blend it all out and then I'll be able to see if there's any certain like areas or spots that need more but first I like to get a nice even base and I do put some on my neck because I'm gonna you know blend a little bit use my real techniques um beauty blender sponge <laughs> I think they just call it a sponge or something so funny the funny story is I've been obsessed with the NYX waterproof retractable um, lip liners for a while, and the only place that I found them where they actually sell those waterproof ones was at CVS, in one of the CVSs near me. I have a couple because I live like right between two kind of bigger towns, but I live in a hundred. So either direction, um, I'm like halfway between both towns. But anyway, so there was only one CVS that even carried NYX and and also had my waterproof liners. So that's where I would always get them. And they also CVS also has my very favorite snack of all times, which is the Flix brand caramel and sea salt pretzels. They're amazing. So, like, it's been probably maybe, it's been since my dental surgery, which was last May, that I got obsessed with the um, Flix pretzels, and they're always there. Or I call the store to see if they have them, because I am that obsessed. Well, so the other day, I couldn't find any pretzels, because the manufacturer, for some reason, they didn't stop making them. They stopped making my pretzels the way they make them. They made them without salt, and they changed the packaging. And the whole packaging change, you know, sometimes they don't change the actual, like, product. They just change the packaging. But, no, the Flix brand people, they change the ingredients and everything. So I was bummed, but they're still selling, like, the old bag of pretzels that I was always getting. So I figured I would just drive out to CVS. I'm out of my favorite lip liner. I'll go pick that up, and I'll get, you know, I'll go see if they have any pretzels. I didn't call in advance, because sometimes I don't. I like to be surprised. <laughs> I like to, like, keep, you know, I stay positive. I'm like, let's not call. We'll just show up, and they're going to have pretzels, and everything's going to be wonderful. So, anyway, <laughs> I get there. I drove all the way there. It's not really close. It's like, I don't know, like a 30 minute drive. And I've already been to the other town that, you know, I live in the middle of. So I've been in the car all day. I just wanted my pretzels and I just wanted my favorite lip liners because I have to use matte liners when I'm overlining. I just, I can't use um, a liner that has a shine to it because then it's just a dead giveaway. And they're just my favorite. There's like three or four that I would say are must haves. Um, anyway, so I get to see yes, they didn't have my pretzels anyways. And then I go over to makeup and guess what's there instead of NYX? Ome, the Ome brand. So I'm looking around like, where's NYX? What the hell did they do? Do they give it its own special spot? Because, I mean, it's NYX. Maybe they'll get their own, like, wall. That'd be cool. But no, so I don't see it anywhere. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why is it that every time I love something, the company decides to just stop making it? Like, oh, birds, these are flying off the shelves. We should just not have it anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. And then I asked a worker, and I'm 
was like, um, where's Nick? <laughs> they were like, um, we stopped hearing it. I think it was, um, like, what did he say? He's like, I think it's discontinued. I'm like, discontinued as a brand or just at CVS? She's like, I don't know. Maybe as a brand. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Nick's could matter. Nothing. Nick's didn't matter. I'm like, what? I don't know. I mean, Nick's is an amazing brand. But anyway, letting me know that my CVS stopped carrying Nick's. And so whoever, anyone else that really likes Nick's, your CVS might have too. I don't know if it's just my CVS. Um, but I wasn't happy. So I'm letting you all know. So now I'm just doing a couple other layers wherever I see any redness that I don't like. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Light. This is my favorite concealer. I think my kids might have lost my other one though. This is not my only one. Why are my kids always losing my favorite? Why? Does anybody know? Why do kids always insist on just messing with your favorites? <laughs> like, they leave everything else alone that I don't care about. But they just like to play with whatever is the most perfect. Because I can't blame them. You know, around the nose. I hate this bow. I go under my nose because mine gets red. And I'm like, good. Sometimes. Sometimes. They cover it and they hurt me. And it blends out so nice and clean. So this is so easy to blend. It's it's like... Like, I'll show you. I don't even have to, like, speed this up. You can just... Just make sure that you're really not rubbing. Because when you rub, it's going to remove product. Just tap and bounce. Tap and bounce. And bounce, and it will blend. And the head, and that's it. My favorite airspun translucent extra coverage, and I'm just gonna tap some in the back of this lid. Don't gotta be extremely careful. I don't personally like to really pack it on as much as some people do for a bake because a lot of times I forget to use a brush. So I like to put it on and then by the time I'm done, like with all my other powder, I feel like this is pretty well, just it settles right in. It kind of blends in or it kind of merges with the concealer under it. So they just become one. Anyway. I'm going to set up my nose exactly where that concealer is. This really helps my nose to not have my foundation and concealer falling off because I don't know if it's just because you have so many pores in your nose, but um, it's a common place. People have a hard time keeping foundation on their nose. So it can really help to set it with something like this. Now I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus with a big Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just going to really tap this on first. I feel like that's kind of um, a theme in my makeup, including my eyes, but um, I like to tap things on and then blend, I feel like. Even eyeshadow. It's just easier when you tap it in first and like get a good get a good layer and then after I get it all over so I know there's you know coverage and I know that I got every spot then I go in with a little more and blend it and I feel like by doing that when I started doing my powder this way I started to see it work I feel like when I would just take it on a brush and just kind of go like like that around my face. It just wasn't quite as effective. It just also depends what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to set your makeup, you don't need too much, but like with me, what I'm trying to do is create my, create a texture to my skin that looks extremely smooth and perfect. And if I want a full coverage face, then this powder is responsible for making my skin look perfect. It's called Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, but I feel like it has just the tiniest little bit of a satin, like a matte satin finish, kind of. It's hard to explain. Like, it doesn't make you shiny, but it makes it look like skin. This is my favorite face powder mm. in the world. To contour and bronze, I'm going to use this um, LA Color Shape It Up palette. I think I showed this in one of my recent videos. 
and this is new to me I've been using it though and I really like it I just saw it at like Dollar General and grabbed it but I'm gonna use my contour this is a brush I contour with but I'm gonna use the darker one to do a little contour and then I'll use the browner one the lighter brown one to blend and like bronze a little bit cream I don't think I have any cream contour right now to even play with other than like I need to buy a couple of the stick ones and give it a shot because I just never really got into that. A lot, I've seen a lot of people talk about more cream, cream products and like the, there's like Chanel one, but sh like Soleil or something. So I'm really interested. And I'm going to go down, straight down my nose. It, it might seem like a little extra, but at the same time, I feel like I try to keep it simple. Um, or maybe it just seems that way because I have a routine that I've been following like my contour routine and stuff, I don't really change that much. I do it pretty well the same, the darker one. And then I'm gonna like blend and bronze with a little bit of the lighter one. And this you can even sweep up and use as a blush, like, you know, or you could leave it here just to even it all out. Dolce Pink by um, Milani, if I can open this. And if you like brighter blushes, but you're afraid that they're going to be way too vibrant, just keep in mind that you can use a very little amount. So you can still get a little bit of that color, but you don't have to really go heavy. Yeah, using the one that's a little whiter. So I'm just going on my cheekbones because I like to put a matte white down for some reason underneath my other highlights. Like even on my eyes, under my eyebrow, I like to always start with a matte white because I just got this Wet n Wild one called Precious Petals. It's so cute. Alright, my mom's trying to call, so we're gonna finish highlighting the nose, and I'll take a little break and call my mama. So I'm gonna go in a little bit, a little on my tip, a little more on my lip. More Maybelline Tattoo Studio, just to do my waterline. And I'm just gonna blend this out with the black from the James Charles palette and this Morphe brush. This is the M321, so I'm just going to take that black shadow and smoke it out in the bottom here. And this is the Physician's Formula Argan Mascara. It's one of my new favorites. It makes my lashes look super long and wispy, and I really, really love it, and it doesn't clump together. This is Milani in the shade Natural. I'm just going to use this to outline my lips, and first make sure it's nice and sharp. On my upper lip, I do slightly overline. Sometimes I dramatically overline. Today, I did not super dramatically overline, but we did give them some extra volume that I don't naturally have. And then I'm going to fill in around the corners with this shade, starting to create an ombre. And this is a NYX liner in the shade Cola. So I'm going to outline around everything with this darker one and on the top I will also go around everything and when you use a darker liner around everything it just creates the illusion that that's actually your lip line makes it easier to trick people catfish eh. And then I'm using Urban Decay Stark Naked to fill in the center. This is a nice matte waterproof nude and it will stay on my lips all day just like the rest of them. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the finished look you guys i hope you enjoyed as much as i did doing this these lashes well and the wings i guess it's all a little bit extra and a little bit glam i think it's kind of playful and fun and flirty especially for 
Valentine's Day because you can do a lot of things for Valentine's. This would be cute for like a party or even just for me, but these are really big lashes. I think it's hard to tell like um, from over there, <laughs> like from on the other side where you are. Like in real life, I know that they're really big. I just don't know if it translates like how big they actually are, but I do actually like them and they're very comfortable to wear. So I'm really impressed with that. I'm going to give all the other ones a try, but yeah, anyways. If you enjoyed today's video and you would like to see more like them, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments what kind of beauty videos you like or gravitate to more. Do you like sit down talking videos like in real time or do you like more sped up from start to finish type of videos? I kind of like both, but I really like sit down talking videos too. So, you know, we'll mix it up or whatever, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Please subscribe if you are new. Your support really means the world to me. <laughs> Elsie is just very needy. <laughs> she's just... Oh my goodness, she's right there all the time watching Mama. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's look, please do like this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any other Valentine's ideas or any other looks you would like to see me do. And other than that, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an amazing night and a very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Please come again. <laughs> Please come back is what I mean.